Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Liu, and I want to ask you, how has your week been going this week? Has it been great? Fantastic. I've been having an incredible two weeks, and it's simply because I'm finally really understanding why I'm here. I mean, I already found my purpose a couple of years ago, and that purpose is to make mental health and human potential the primary focus of healthcare throughout the world. But it really came into focus two weeks ago. And I have this new fabulous speaking coach who is really helping me filling in the gaps from all my other speaking coaches. And one of the things that he mentioned was the presentation secrets of Steve Jobs, who is considered to be one of the best speakers in the world. And apparently, <laughs> We got a technical problem in the back there, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> so, so this book, I ordered it right away, and I have learned so much. And so I, I got it on Wednesday, and I read it right through. So that's what I was doing on Saturday. By the time Saturday came along, I was able to implement it. But I'm telling you, it has made it's already making a huge difference in how I think about speaking because he spoke with passion, he spoke with humor, he, he had a villain and a hero and that was very important. So I realized working through my speech over the last few days because I'm going to be speaking in San Diego on October the 7th, who my villain is and I've been wanting to make that a villain and I didn't know if I could or not but I'm going to come out and say it. The, medical, the conventional medical industry has totally distorted what medicine is. They have created something which is not anything like it used to be because medicine is supposed to be making you well. It's supposed to be making you feel better and once you are better, you get off it. None of this stuff about where well, you're going to be staying on hypertension pills for the rest of your life. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> you know? And in the meantime, it's poisoning your kidneys. It's poisoning your liver. And what about all the narcotic painkillers that are out there that have been promoted and sold like candy to people who are now addicted to it and hapless and helpless? Is that what medicine is, is supposed to be? No way. So that's why they are the enemy, they are the villain, and I am the heroine that has come to save us from, from that helplessness and hopelessness. Because the thing is, is that they're really good at telling you bad news, they're really good at telling you how to die, but they're not very good at telling you how to live a good, healthy, long, and productive life. And so, Last week, when I was speaking to a, to a coach, her name is Jeanette Anderson. I had the, uh, the great fortune of meeting her at one of Jackie McClanahan's meetings a few weeks ago. And after, I mean, she's a great listener. And she told me, my God, Joni, what you're really good at is creating, sustaining, and expanding peak performance. Because, you know, it really matters to me to help people to live the life of their dreams. It really matters a lot. And my current and past clients have shown me that. And I, so it was right in front of me and I never, I couldn't even put words to it. But she was able to help me. And that's why I've had a fabulous two weeks, but I've also had a fabulous two years. Because now I really know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> Pardon my French. But I'm telling you, I am so happy and grateful now that I know exactly where I am going. And I have to thank, you know, Jay uh, for, for introducing me to the speaker coach. I have to thank Jackie for taking me as far as she could and continues to. I mean, oh, oh yeah, Christina Marlette, who started um, this Northwest Speaker Club, and of course to Scott for continuing it. Because if I hadn't had all this support, all these wonderful people, I couldn't have spoken at Harvard. I couldn't be speaking at San Diego. I'm going for TEDx now. I mean, I am going as big as I can. 
because it's so important. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was great. You know what I love? Getting on a Facebook list because Joni dropped an F bomb <laughs> on my account. That's awesome. That was, look at the hearts that are coming. This is so good. Give her some big hearts. That was great. Uh, mm -hmm. I, what I love is new material, new stuff mm -hmm. coming out, new creative possibilities, not just like you've opened a can of worms today. Because mm -hmm. I don't know where you're going, but it sounds awesome and I want to come too. Uh, can I get Phil to give us some feedback? Yeah, I was actually surprised with how the ending went with the dramatic F bomb. Um, it was timely. It was, Me it, too. It was impactful <laughs> and it was uh, authentic. So I really, well, you've always been authentic, even when I met you initially, it was about 10 or 11 years ago. And uh, <laughs> we had a synergy then uh, around authenticity, and you're consistent with that even here today and every Thank other you. time I've heard you speak. Thank you. Yes, Joni, you're such an inspiration, and you're so right about the medical industry and how they do. They, they, they put you in a box, and that's where they're going to keep you, because that's all they know. It's fix this, give you a pill for that, and that's it. Yes. So good for you. Yeah, stop that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make people well. I mean, yeah. really well. Healthcare, not yeah. sick care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. not disease management. <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah. You guys, anything you want to add? She's always been a, you know, good advocate for natural, awesome. you know, <laughs> medicine. Of course, she's, uh, her ancestor is Chinese, and we're, of course, from no, China. We always <laughs> need to go back from that, you know, we start from that. 6,000 so. years of tradition, right? and yeah. Like that. It's very good. Yeah, we know what we're doing. Yeah, I think so. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Yay.